didn't put any stock into the words of those stargazers until I saw my first sand giant. It cut a horse in half. I haven't run so fast since I was stealing meat on the streets of Riften. Now we're all listening a bit more closely. Everyone is these days. Funny how a few months ago, they were just a bunch of star-obsessed loonies. Now, they're the only folks with any idea what's going on. Their observatory is up on top of that big hill there. Can't miss it. Speak quickly. I am very busy and our order is stretched to the breaking point. Of course. I'm sorry. You've come to help us and I'm being rude. Then I'll start from the beginning. A short while ago, the three guardian star signs, the warrior, the mage, and the thief, vanished from the night sky. I wish I knew. I've studied the stars my whole life. I've heard them speak. But now they're silent. It's eerie. All I know is when the Guardians disappeared, three powerful beings started attacking Kraglorn. They call themselves the Celestials. I don't know. It's not a name I'd ever heard before. Two of the Celestials identify themselves as the Warrior and the Mage. The third, strangely, calls himself the Serpent, after the 13th constellation. The thief is nowhere to be found. Stargazers consists of scholars who are no match for the current threat. We need champions to face the warrior, the mage, and the serpent. And, if possible, to find the thief. Join us. Be our strong arm, our sharp sword against the Celestials. Thank you. We have a lot of work to do. But first, you must become an official member of our order. Enter the Circle of Stars and accept our blessing. Stars above, let this new light do your will. Accept, accept them, 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 O oh stars. stars. Let them always follow where you lead. Oh, please, please aid them. them. And bless them to restore those who have fallen from glory. Our missing guardians. Oh, please oh, bless please them. We must talk. Do not be afraid. I am a friend. Forgive me. I did not know any other way to contact you without revealing myself. Even now, the Serpent's followers, the Scaled Court, are searching for me. I am the Celestial Thief. I appeared with the other Guardians when the Serpent broke free and manifested in Tamriel. One by one, the Serpent trapped the others. First the Warrior, then the Mage. He wants to do the same to me. Yes, they attack Kraglorn against their will. Listen, the Serpent's nature is chaos. He wants to undermine the very order of reality. He will not stop with Kraglorn. My power alone is not enough. You must free the other Guardians. I will help you as much as I dare, but the Serpent is looking for me. If he ensnares me as he has the others, all is lost. 
Hara and the Stargazers will help you. Use their knowledge. Look for the presence of the Scaled Court. Where they are, a serpent is surely at work. But you must not tell anyone you saw me. The serpent's followers are everywhere. In a way, just as you might look at a picture of the star signs and say, that's the thief, or that's the warrior, just so, I'm the thief, or one way of seeing the thief. It would be surprising if I didn't. The stargazers are only dimly aware of it, but they carry an ancient legacy as students of the star signs. Their devotion has not gone unnoticed. Of the twelve rightful star signs, it's the Guardian's duty to protect the lesser signs, our charges, against the destructive ways of the Serpent. With the warrior and mage under the Serpent's control, their charges are vulnerable. So is Tal. been accepted by the stars above. You are now one of us. The stars have accepted you. I just hope it is not too late. Volumes of prophecy have been written about the stars, but not even the oracles foresaw these events. Gather allies before you leave the city. You'll need loyal friends to face the armies of the warrior, the mage, and the serpent. Return to me each time you learn something new. I will use what you learn to devise a plan to defeat the Celestials. It appears that the Serpent has gathered the bulk of his forces in the mountainous region to the north and sealed himself within. So much the better. That gives us a chance to learn what we can about this threat and plan a defense. Tradition holds that the warrior is one of the guardians who defends the other stars against the serpent. But the warrior celestial who has recently appeared is no friend. He commands a merciless army of ancient Yokudan warriors called the Ankara. All I know is they are ancient and dangerous. I've heard intriguing rumors from the Daggerfall Covenant outpost to the west of a champion who appeared about the same time as the Ankara. That may be a good place to start looking for answers. One of our number, Erald, has been examining old Nedic writings on the subject. He hopes to find insight into the Celestial's sudden appearance. Erald is smart, but he's not exactly battle-hardened. I'd be grateful if you'd help him. Tradition holds that the mage, the warrior, and the thief are the guardian star signs. But the magical events in the foothills of Craglorn, including an ever-growing army of Atronachs, suggest that the mage has fallen under the serpent's control. The Atronachs were originally summoned by a circle of conjurers from the city of Elenhir to defend Craglorn against the Dark Anchors, but it's clear they're answering to another master now. And, if anything, their numbers are growing. I'm at a loss. The Conjurers who summoned the Atronachs have disappeared. But since the Atronachs were summoned to defeat the Dark Anchors, perhaps the Dolmens hold a clue. Strange things. Difficult to describe. A large spell scar in the middle of the desert. And the appearance of two High Elves in Belkarth, each claiming to be the Mage herself. It's as if the Mage tried to fight back against the Serpent and lost. I wouldn't rule it out, but I haven't had time to look into their claims. You're free to investigate, but be wary of a trap. The serpent could simply be baiting us. Last I heard, the women were still at the Crossroads Tavern here in Belkarth.
The Mage's Guild must guide the people of Craglorn through this difficult time. We will accept any aid offered. There was a terrible accident. My colleague is in grave danger. My colleague, Kelman Locke, with sorcerers, he leads my circle, or, or led I. We sought to shatter a dark anchor at its base. To show the Fighters Guild we can do it more efficiently, so we traveled to the Proving Grounds Dolmen, but our plan went horribly awry. The Circle summoned Atronarchs to destroy the dark anchor. Instead, they turned on the circle. One of the Celestials must have caused it. I'm no conjurer. I wasn't next to the summoning when it happened. It's the only reason I escaped to seek help. He fell right out of the sky, like a bare-arsed comet. You're here to laugh at me as well? I saw what I saw. He was naked as the full moons in a cloudless sky. Dragon Star Arena, where I lost everything? A sure win, they said. Only fools wouldn't bet, they said. Then that bare-arsed imbecile dropped out of nowhere and threw the match. Out of thin air shouting nonsense about defeating the Ankara. The guard took him to Bankarai Gate if you're headed that way. He's the indecent Imperial going on about celestial this and that. If you see him, tell him he owes me a thousand gold.
just won't do it all. You. Uh, you've been working with the Stargazers. That means you know what you're doing. Good. See that large staff sticking out of the ground? It's emitting magical energy at unprecedented levels. If we don't stop it, it'll explode. Some sort of celestial object. A few of the locals call it the Mage's Staff. They say it fell from above just before the constellations vanished. It's extremely volatile, and every magic-addicted sorcerer and Atronach in the region is drawn to it. We need to find a way inside, to the core, but getting in will require an unprecedented amount of magical energy. When the staff hit, pieces broke off into elemental shards. Take these focusing crystals. Each one can absorb one type of elemental infusion from a shard. Bring one infusion of each type to me, and I'll combine them to open a portal into the staff. Be warned, though. The spell fiends are drawn to the elemental shards. You will be unable to harvest an elemental infusion from a shard until the spell fiends are defeated. After the fiends are dead, you will only have a brief window in which to harvest the elemental infusion. Quickly. If the staff explodes, it has enough power to turn all of Craglorn into a crater. Collect all three elemental infusions and bring them to me. Then we can force our way into the staff and stop the explosion. We are dealing with magic of a whole different order than any of us are used to. If this really is the mage's staff, then only infusions of energy from its own shards can break its wards. I only hope that we can find a way to contain it once inside. Now is not the time for friendly chatter. You must harvest the elemental infusions from the shards so we can force our way into the staff.
and stay quiet. It's the only certain way to remain alive. Friend of the Stargazers, look at this place. Here, the Majors of Craglorn fended off the Prince of Schemes and his dark anchors. But the sweet taste of victory quickly turned bitter. The Mages called on the power of the Celestial Mage. They summoned ancient and powerful Atronox to defeat the Dark Anchors and battle Molag Bal. But as soon as the Dark Anchors were defeated, the Atronox turned against Kraglorn. That's what I need you to learn. A conjurer named Kelman Locke was present when the Atronox were first summoned. When they turned, his fellow summoners were killed. He was the only one to escape, and I fear he is in grave danger. Hurry! If Kelman is lost to the Serpent, so too are our chances to understand why the Atronox turned. From what I've heard, He's a gifted conjurer who was greatly favored by the mage herself before she disappeared. When the Atronox turned, the rest of Kelman's summoning circle were killed. It's no wonder he's gone into hiding. My fellow guardian, the mage, lent her power to the conjurers of Kraglor. It was not in our interest to see Cold Harbor and Nern join. She spoke to them in dreams. Not directly, of course. We prefer to watch from above rather than appear below. Only in times of great crisis do the Guardians awaken and manifest. The Serpent's attack on Kraglorn was just such a crisis. <laughs> 